So there was, of course, the uh, former investment banker buys Wyoming mine for $2 million that has $37 billion in rare earths and everybody gets all hyped up about it. Yeah, and we and see that. And then it goes away. We see that and that's like an immediate red flag. Yeah, and so I'm like, well, mm. it's hype. Like $37 billion is like if you total up all the potential things and sell them at their at the full market price, price yeah. exclude all the processing and everything. In reality, the Brook, and we're talking about the Brook mine in Wyoming, and the reality is, is it wasn't just some investment banker. He's the CEO of Ramico Resources and invested a significant amount of his own personal money into it. They're a coal mining company. They understand coal. They understand resources. They understand permitting. They understand exploration. And none of that was really covered in all these early on articles. It's like a whole bunch. It's just clickbait it at like that clickbait. point. But then when you actually dig into the story, there was a lot of hype at the beginning, which I'm sure helped them push things through. And I was like, yeah, ignore it. And then what I actually found out is like their, their EBITDA is like a hundred million dollars a year and they've got grants and they're building a pilot plant and their coal, the actual in-ground coal has significantly higher concentrations of rare earths than typical coal. But on an ash basis, some seams of that mine contain 5,000 parts per million of rare earths. And a conventional rare earths wow. mine like Mountain Pass is like five, 600. So it's 10 times the concentration once you've burned it off. So really much higher concentrations yeah. of coal, of rare earths in the coal. So really interesting um, journey there. 